Welcome to Angling Outlaws, the show where we're taking four elite former footballers, dropping them outside of their comfort zone and setting them challenges. Right, so let it go, Tone. Yes, this is angling, a sport that is technical, but where much of the play is going on under the water, where you can't see it. So it's as much about understanding and solving problems as it is about physical ability and skill. Our target is to take four footballing legends and turn them from absolute beginners to experts in just one week. They're not on their own though, they've got four of the best anglers in the country showing them the ropes. So far, the guys have learned about stalking, how to catch and handle fish, how to fish with a float and the feeder. They've caught lots of smaller sized fish, but today we're stepping up into the world of specimen carp. The guys are going to change from floats, ledgers, through to bivvies, bed chairs and buzzers. This is where tech gets involved, everything's scaled up, not only the size of the fish, but the techniques involved with hopefully snaring their own monster carp. Now, when you start fishing, you want to catch a fish. Once you've caught one, you want to catch lots of them. Then you want to compete against your mates. Then you want to catch a bigger one. And eventually you end up wanting to catch the biggest and the biggest in this country, a carp. And it's not just a case of fishing in the day because one of the great things about carp fishing is you live on the bank as well. Now, I don't know when the last time you went camping, but you're going there tonight because we're doing an overnighter. And we're going to get straight in, not just with teaching techniques, but also with the challenge as well because now you're hunting big fish. So the points will be awarded tomorrow morning for whoever has caught the biggest, not the most. It's up to you and your pros to work out which methods, techniques, baiting strategies and rigs will account for those big carp out there because there certainly are more than a few really sizable carp. It's all about how you approach it and hopefully how you manage to take first place in that competition. Off to your starting blocks. Catch us the biggest fish you can tomorrow morning. Whoever's got the biggest one, you are the winner. Good luck. So carp fishing is a very, very different aspect of the sport than almost any other discipline. For a start, you'll see that they don't just use one rod, they use two. Not only that, but they're not actually holding the rod a lot of the time because they sit on this, which is a rod setup. Two rods, a lot of the time, exactly the same. They sit on these two little black boxes that are called electronic bite alarms. Now, what they allow the angler to do is watch the water a lot more through the course of the day and also sleep through the night because these literally are alarms. When a fish picks the bait up and runs away, it makes a noise. So whichever way it swims, coming back towards, will make that noise going away, that noise, and that will wake the angler up. So there's lots and lots of technology involved in carp fishing as well. The kit is beefier too. Bigger, stronger rods, bigger reels, stronger line, and of course the bait is bigger too because the fish, they're after the big ones this time, right? They're not after little ones, they're after big ones. So there's lots and lots of tech involved here. And you'll also notice that behind me is a green tent. This is called a bivy. Inside it is a bed, which turns into a chair as well. And anglers stay sometimes for up to a week in these things, camping out on the bank, enjoying the atmosphere of nature, and of course, fishing all the time. So Bart, what exactly are you doing with that bomb looking thing now? Well this is called a spom, and all this is going to do is deliver our bait, our free offerings, our freebies, out to where we're going to be fishing. And we've chose to fish off the side of that island, so our fishing rods, they're all marked up, ready to cast and be at a set distance in the line clip. And then when they land, just take the line out of the clip and put it on the buzzer. And this is going to deliver, this is clipped up at the same distance yep. so all we got to do is point and shoot in the same direction as the fishing rods and this is going to deliver all our free offerings we've got some small boilies we've got some sweet corn like high oil and low oil pellets and a few different sizes and if we were to try and catapult that out because they weigh all different weights they'd actually spread out all different distances and you wouldn't get that concentration so we can put this 
all in a nice tight area. That'll attract all the fish in. And then all we've got to do is just cast our rods over the top and that's it pretty much. Well, she, these are the two rigs that we're going to be using this evening. Now this material here is PVA mm -hmm. and then when that sinks to the bottom that's going to melt and we're going to have all of that additional attraction around our hook bait. So that's our rig, dead simple and all we got to do is cast it off the side of that island and it's just about taking your time and being real smooth, make sure the line's not caught around the tip. Perfect. So that's one rod out, we'll get the other rod out and if we get fish yeah. or two along the way, that'd be a bonus. Is that a big one, Jenk? Big enough. Get one off scales first, and we've got us fish. Go on, son. Go on. Oh, well done. Ten two. Yeah. Ten pound two. Look at that. Now that is what it's all about. Nine pound exactly. You're all right, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got one. Tell me steady. That's it, just pull him that way. That's it. It'll pop up in a minute. That's a good fish, that one. Might have to weigh this one. This one is a beast. Doing well there, mate. Playing that lovely. Really nice. Maybe have one more turn on the reel. Honestly, my forehead is sweating. <laughs> it won't give him. Ah. So he's getting a little bit slower now. So he's doing a good job. One more wind down. So, so just walk down that way a little bit, Paul. Just put, put, pull him out to the side. Yeah. That's it. It's only because he went in those reeds. Yeah. Oh, what a mate, that's a lovely fish, that one. Ooh. What do you reckon? That was a drag, that was. Oh. Over this last week, I have pulled in a few fishes, but that was the toughest one. There was one earlier today which was moving about so much, and it really hurt my wrist when I got it in, but that one was just strength, the strength of it. It was coming in, and you thought to yourself, oh, this, this is it now, then it went back out again, and it was tiring, I must say. And when it comes in, I'm glad it was a big one because it could have been embarrassing if it was smaller. 30. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there. Oh. Sorry, a little bit on the bar there. I'm going to. That is showing 50. Take, take your hands off. Oops. Yeah, that's it. Hang it out there. So there you go. 14 pound 8 ounces. That's not bad. Nice start. Yep. That's a beautiful start. Decent fish. And what we'll do is we'll get them out and we'll have a quick look. like a decent one? I'm not sure. Of course it'll feel a bit different because these rods are a lot shorter to the, the ones you've been using up to now. Some good sized swells coming up there. That's a big fish. That's a donkey that mate. I hope it's better than that 10 pound tour. Lovely. Not far now. Go on Mochi. Yes. Not that big though is he? Not that big but yeah. it's a fish it gets us off the mark. Mm. I'll put a bit of video, do you want to just keep doing it? Yeah, it's whatever they're eating them. Come on, be the winner. Oh, well got, oh, Nick. Well done, Lovely, wow. We've already got one in the net, Mr Walsh. Let's make it two. Let's make it two. 14 pounds, exactly. Hold on, because someone's caught one a bit 14 too, so it's <laughs> 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 There you go. There we go. He's in. He's in. Yeah. 
Sounds like Barton Paul having some fun next door as well. Yeah. There you go. Done. Well done, mate. Oh, look at that, Walshie. Oh, the evening's nice, still young, he's, he's, and we're starting with a double take. Walshie yeah. wants to go back already. Yeah, he's had enough of me. Been using the, uh, the spawn to top the swim up. Got a nice bed of bait down there, and it's paying off. Tonight's all about big fish, though, so whilst it's nice to catch a few this size, great bit of practice for, uh, for Walshie in his uh, introduction to carp fishing. I think there's some bigger ones <laughs> out there, and hopefully tonight will be the night. Yeah, well, we, got, we know what the competition is, don't yeah, we, exactly. as well? So. It's a beauty, that's Frank McAvenny would say. A wee beauty. Our target is to take four footballing legends and turn them from absolute beginners to experts in just one week. So far, the guys have learned about stalking, how to catch and handle fish, how to fish with a float and the feeder. They've caught lots of smaller sized fish, but today we're stepping up into the world of specimen carp. Now that is what it's all about. Bivvies, bed chairs and buzzers. This is where tech gets involved. Everything's scaled up. Not only the size of the fish, but the techniques involved with hopefully snaring their own monster carp. This one is a beast. Right, we're coming into dark now and everybody's caught loads and loads of fish, but we're going to come up to date with the scores. And there has been a couple of big ones caught, isn't there? We've got a 14 pound, eight ounce fish and that is to Paul and Mark. That's a, that's a brilliant result for him. Brilliant result. In second place, really close behind, it's none other than Gailey and Nick with a 14 pound, two ounce fish. That's very close. Now, Gailey wanted to do his inquiry on it because he thought it should be bigger. And he actually, I believe, I've heard on the grapevine that he actually offered a 100 quid in a brown envelope <laughs> if the scalesman would up it a little bit. But you know what? They're all men of morals here and it's 14 pound two. So Gailey, you've got a bit more work to do there. And then we've got a tie breakdown in third stroke, fourth place. Two nine pound fish as well. Uh, so that was uh, Jules and Walshie. Uh, and Frank and Kaylee, they're catching lots of fish. Uh, Kaylee and Frank in particular, they're catching loads and loads and loads of fish, but they've not got through to those big ones yet. No, there's plenty of time to go. We've got this evening and through to the morning. And the morning spell is notorious for sort of feeding activity for big carp. So hopefully, come morning, who knows where that scoreboard will be, but I'm pretty much assured that it will change from what it is tonight. This is just killing me. I was just having a nice little quaff. Do that clutch up a little bit. Still on for you, there you go. Alright, don't end up on too too short a line though, it's right. a little bit difficult to see you at this time. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. Look at that. Right, please don't flap. Yep. It's your first night session and we've been rewarded with not the biggest fish by any means, but look at the markings on that. Now that is absolutely stunning. Just walk, in, walk it back while she, that's it. Yes. Is it half decent? We'll have a look. It's not going to travel the scoreboard, is it? Right, I think I'm ready to get in here now. And here I go. And I'll tell you what, I haven't got to bend down too far, be in my eye. Right, lights out. No night, Paul. See you in the morning, mate. <laughs> Sweet dreams, sweetheart. <laughs> I think 
by the sound of it, you might have had the most settled night out of all the, the other lads. Do you think that's going to help you in terms of winning this little competition for Biggest Fish? No, I don't think it makes any difference, really, to be perfectly honest. It's just having seen grumpy faces around. That's the worst bit of it. I've seen Gady's face. He sat down just, just behind you and he was grumpy. It was an absolute nightmare. I was warm, I was cold. I put my track bottoms on, took my track bottoms off. I was sat in this position when I got interviewed last night and I was tired and I'm sat in this chair again and I'm still tired. <laughs> Staying up at night's never been my problem, mate. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> and getting to bed has been a problem, yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of nights I've stayed up, but um, not for that. That was the worst night I've ever had, yeah. It was, that was up there. Right, Frank, so we've got a couple of hours left going into last morning and we're currently last. And I've told you before, I don't do last, and you don't do last. No. So, 14 pounds, Summit's currently winning. We're on nine pounds, so we've got to pull the big guns out. Okay. This is where <laughs> the boat comes in. So this is how it works. So as line comes in the bottom of it, it's got little flaps on the bottom. The rig sits in there, filled it with pellets, gonna send it out to Ireland, drop it where the big ones live. Away we go, back in the lead. No, it does. This is allowed. Yeah, they didn't say it's not cheating. We didn't say we're not allowed to use them. They never said use them. I'm quite happy with that. But it's up to us to come up with these edges. They aren't, so... It yeah, wouldn't bother me if we're cheating either. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so, as long as we win. So let's get it out there and see what they've got to say about it. We're going into big fish territory out here. I like that. Have you seen what's coming over here? There, I think we're there now, so we just drop his bait. So they need to tighten this, no? Yeah, we will do, yeah. Yeah, well done. So now that's out, Big Fish Island. Get a cup of tea, sit down, relax, and let us fish and do talking, Frank. Brilliant, sounds like a plan. I'm gonna do the drag up a little bit tighter for you there. That's it. It's more like the, the carp nursery, this corner so far yeah. for us, but hey ho, we're still getting bites, so we're still in with a chance. Oh, they catch a big one on that as well. What have we got? Got free willy on here, Frank. Yeah, it's a bit like that. <laughs> Feels like a better one. Yeah. Yeah, take over. So just keep that pressure on. Uh. You stay there, Frank. I'll just grab this net. That's it, just keep it coming steady. Oh, 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 we've got a decent one here. A big one. We've got a decent one here. Keep the rod up. Yeah. If you need to walk back a little bit, you can walk back a bit. Oh, it's just still... Just let him do what he's got to do. Still got a feet in it. Yeah. Just keep that pressure on. Reeling a little. Yes, we got him. He's in. Well done. Well done, Frank. Okay. It, it's challenging for first, is that one? Seventeen. Seventeen bang on, yeah. Have a look. New PB. Come on. Yes! My sons. Get tracking, boys! Seventeen pound! Woohoo! How good is that? All out! Wow, what can I say? I've been really, really impressed. And now the carp fishing element has come to an end. I've got to say, you guys have absolutely smashed it out of the park. Bearing in mind, none of you have picked the rod up six days ago. That has been an incredibly impressive performance. And pros, 
brilliant bit of teaching there as well. Pass. It's been brilliant to see each and every one of you have improved. You've picked things up, you've all been receptive and you've had a brilliant laugh along the way. I've thoroughly enjoyed watching it. It's been brilliant to see. Just fantastic amount of fish as well. You know, carp fishing is meant to be quite difficult and you've just made it all look really, really easy. So I think you all deserve a round of applause for each and every one of you for the effort that you've made. So. Well, well done, well done. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed watching you. And of course, tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow, it's cup final day. This is where everything gets really, really, really serious because there is a big trophy up for grabs. Now, before we cut to tomorrow, there was obviously a competitive element to your carp fishing and it was all about the biggest fish. Now, we're gonna go through in order of where people have finished. You may or may not know, it was certainly very close in the middle. In terms of fourth place, bottom of the pack. Julian and Walshy in that corner. Good angling, a good number of fish, just a little bit unlucky with the size, boys. Now, next up, really good effort, challenging for that top slot, 14 pound two, that's a decent sized fish. Gaily, speedy, good effort, third place. And in second place, just missing out on top spot with a fish of 14 pound eight ounces. None other than Mark Bartlett and Paul Parker. Good angling from you boys. Led all the way through, sterling performance, nailed a load of carp, but you know what? The guys at the opposite end, what can we say? All the way through they've been steady, all the way through they've been consistent. Absolutely brilliant display of angling. A Little bit of luck there on the end of course, and the odd edge as well it has to be said. But Kaylee and Frank, 17 pounds, nailed it. Overall winners today, leading the leaderboard at the moment. Congratulations, another win. Well done. So this is the league table as we stand at the moment and it's really interesting to see the points difference there. It does have an effect on tomorrow. What that will be, you'll have to wait and see. Good luck everybody, because tomorrow it's gonna to be a big one.